Today was the first day of jury selection in the Sarah Boone trial, and it's already getting pretty interesting. Now, I am late to this because I didn't want to rush out a video. I'm not personally in the courtroom. It's not being live streamed. So I wanted to find as many sources as I can to bring you as many facts that I think are interesting or important. To begin with, uh, there's Kathy Russo from Law and Crime. Sorry if I mispronounced any names in this video. Uh, they listed off some of the questions the jurors were to be asked. Has anyone seen any videos about a man in a suitcase? Has anyone commented on social media about any videos of a man in a suitcase? Has anyone seen a video of Miss Boone being interrogated by police? Has anyone commented on social media about Miss Boone being interrogated by police? Has anyone seen body-worn camera videos of Miss Boone speaking to the police? Now you might be wondering, why are they asking, have you seen the video? And also, have you commented on social media? My personal assumption here is that there was a worry that finding jurors who are uh, completely oblivious to this case, they haven't watched any of it, was expected to be extremely hard. So maybe if you've just seen the video but haven't like formed an opinion, you might end up on the jury. That would be my guess for the reason they did both. Um, it does seem like most people have no idea for that from the first jury pool had no idea about this case. So this might not actually be a problem, but that would be my guess. Um, as a fun little fact, when sending the jurors out for a break, the judge said, if you're a Gator fan, I have bad news for you. You lost Graham Mertz for the year. He tore his ACL. It could be worse. You could be a Florida State fan. So he did kind of lighten the mood a little bit. Remember, these are individuals who had no idea when they were selected for jury selection that they were going to be sitting there for a murder case, okay? They had no idea until they were told. So I like that little lightening of the mood. Maybe it helped some of them, you know. This is, I mean, this, let's be honest, it's traumatic for some people, right? Some people this will be very traumatic. Now, um, opening statements, by the way, probably won't be until at least Wednesday. So if you're waiting on that, check back then. Um, I'll talk more about my coverage plans in a bit. Sarah Boone's lawyer said that Sarah Boone um, is getting ready to be transferred to court. She has to start getting ready about 2 a.m. Uh, some other content I watched, uh, some other lawyers said that seems a little early to them. They were thinking like 5, but she, her lawyer said 2 a.m. And there is a split on which one this was from different people. Either Sarah Boone won't get back to jail until or she'll leave the courthouse at possibly as late as 9 p.m. Either or, her lawyer's worry is that she won't be able to shower. Now, that's a problem because Sarah Boone is, well, number one, she's very focused on her appearance, as we know, wanting makeup and hair and nails and, not nails, but wanting clothes, right? So her being unable to shower in front of a jury, now that we have a jury involved, jury selection, that's a bad thing. Uh, also, there was a, a wardrobe malfunction today. Uh, the wording of that, I have to say, I got from Surviving the Survivors tweet. Um, I also watched their live stream, or at least part of it. Um, Sarah Boone's clothes she was supposed to wear were not delivered, and um, it was talked about at the end of the court appearance. So she was just wearing the regular clothes you saw her in last time in court. Uh, now, the law and crime... Uh, employee Kathy Russo, she said that juror number 35, she pointed out that juror specifically raised their hand quite often. A user claiming to be juror number 35 could could be a false, right? Um, Someone claiming to be them did comment on the Sarah Boone case subreddit, if that interests you, if you want to see what they have to say. um, To them, they said Sarah Boone seemed a little arrogant. But um, that, you know, might not be a real juror. They're obviously biased. They said they got dismissed. Um, another name I might butcher, uh, Stephanie Buffamont of Fox 35 Orlando said the judge believed the trial will take three weeks. Um, and it was confirmed the prosecution and defense both have the ex-husband on the witness list. I'm assuming they had to read it to the jury, knew if they knew any of the people that were going to be witnesses, right? Um, and that's interesting. A three-week trial, that's going to be rough on anyone. Uh, I mean, if you have things going on, like, for example, um, reportedly one of the jurors asked if they could have a cell phone for emergencies 
because their wife previously had an ectopic pregnancy emergency and their wife is pregnant again. Um, and the judge, I believe it was, said no phone, but we can get you an emergency line into my office. And I assume that would, you know, immediately get information to the judge and all that. I, that juror is probably just not going to be selected, right? Um, so that being said, um, what are my plans for covering this case? Uh, there's going to be live streams into this, uh, this case. My current plan is to not cover, like, like not do a live stream. Uh, that's not good for the, like, I, I would definitely would have more channel growth if I did, right? But that's not my plan right now. Uh, I think there's probably better people to watch for that. What I probably will do is I will watch the trial live or as soon as I can. I'll get more to that in a minute and, um, do a, a shortened version of it, whether that involves clips or just reading out important facts to you to really cut down the time. Not everyone has the time to sit there and watch a full trial. I'll put in the effort, uh, the time I can to watch. Um, but with that being said, opening statements might be as soon as Wednesday, and Wednesday I might not be able to watch um, live. So that would involve me having to play catch up. Uh, I don't know when that would be, how far behind I would be. Uh, there's just some real life things going on uh, that'll pull me away. With that being said, I'll do what I can on Wednesday, and that, that might even end up canceled. Um, or it's possible that uh, jury selection takes a little extra longer. That's kind of up in the air. Um, some other things I've seen people comment on the channel. Uh, yes, I do cover January 6th cases, a variety of them. And yes, there is some, I cover just the ones I find interesting or weird for a variety, variety of reasons. Um, I had the video of the J6ers that got released early from the prison. Like they got released when they weren't supposed to. And there's like court about that. Uh, I covered the couple that, uh, let me actually see what I covered with that couple. I remember, uh, oh, they got, um, they kept filing pro se motions and they got denied to file some of them. Uh, today I covered a J6er who, uh, his clothing choice on the day, uh, he blames his mother, uh, uh, for that. So like, there's a lot of variety there. There's some older videos where there's like a J6er who repeats a lot of sovereign citizen language was posting photos of himself handing off like paperwork to Rudy Giuliani like a few months prior. And he's like writing over the oath of things, yelling refusal for cause. And then he didn't show up, went on the run. He ended up going to jail, serving his time. He's back out on Twitter uh, posting the same uh, sovereign citizen conspiracy as like every single day. Um, a lot of that stuff gets covered. Uh, but I also cover political stuff. I know a lot of people don't like that, but that is, this channel is basically whatever has my interest at this time. So there's news and a mix of things. Uh, originally, I did Twitch, and uh, I eventually switched to videos on YouTube, and uh, that's why the username, people have asked why this username for true crime. Well, it's not always true crime. I was a uh, video game streamer who got completely obsessed with, if any of you followed it, the uh, People's Convoy and the Canadian Convoy and all the craziness involved in all of those. And it led to me doing my YouTube channel more uh, with videos of different topics. Uh, and I never changed the name. So that's why the name's there. Um, I also have a separate channel. I don't, I know it's not really a secret, but I, I, I don't really like post it on my main channel or like share between the two. I have a gaming channel. Uh, a lot of people know about it. Uh, so I do do gaming content when I have a game that really has me pulled in. Um, so do expect me to do a bunch of Sarah Boone video updates. So if that interests you, make sure you, uh, subscribe, you hit the little bell icon and there is a playlist. Uh, there's a Sarah Boone playlist that just has all my Sarah Boone stuff. Everything I've talked about Sarah Boone should be in it and it should be in order. Um, I began off, I got fascinated by the letters, uh, uh filed to the docket. Just like I get fascinated when I see pro se J6 defendants say some wild, wild stuff. Um, it feels unreal, honestly, from the first time I heard about Sarah Boone to now that we're actually getting to a trial with her having a lawyer. Uh, it feels unreal, um, and we're getting close. Um, and I want to just want to thank everyone that's tuned into my Sarah Boone content and have enjoyed my coverage of the case. I, I've been rewatching in my personal time. I thought about doing a video, and I, I still might, but I've just been rewatching in my personal time the interrogation, and I just. I just can't understand how they're going to try to mash all of the Sarah Boone stories together 
like I feel like I don't even have it mentally in me. I thought about trying to like make a timeline and have like every Sarah Boone crossover event where her story changed. And I just thinking about that was like overwhelming. Maybe after everything's do- like said and done, because I'm sure she'll. I, I'll. I have the opinion that when she gets on stand, she's going to have another version of events, and um, I guess we'll see. 